Hey, what's up amigos? Today I'm going to show you how I edited this photo in Adobe Photoshop. So today we're going to combine everything that we've learned so far into this photo. We'll start by um, I'll start by showing you how I replace the sky, how to change the car color, um, and I'll show you why in a bit. Um, how to add a flare or a sunlight, and uh, just the you know the normal post processing that we go through in Adobe Photoshop. The first thing that I did is I actually warmed up the photo, so I changed the color balance to 5901 it was um, it was balanced for a daylight and I changed that by just moving the slider over here to 5901 it depends on your photo um, I just wanted a warmer set of colors and then I of course moved it to Photoshop all right so now that we are in Photoshop first thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to desaturate the ground a bit it's just a creative choice really so I'll start by using you can use any other tool not necessarily the pen tool but find it easier to do it with the pen tool Right click, make selection, OK, and I'm going to create a new layer. Set the blending mode to color, get a brush, make sure it's at 100%, and I'm going to paint in black. We got rid of the colors there. Now you can dial it back if you think that it's just way too much. So uh, 80% is fine. So we're done with the first task. Now the second task, we're going to change the color of the car just a bit so it doesn't blend with the sky replacement that we're trying to replace it with. And the way to do so is with adding a hue and saturation layer. And I'm going to click this icon here and then I'm going to select a sample area. You can fine tune that area by dragging this slider. Anyhow, uh, now I'm going to simply change the color of the car. So I'm trying to shy away from the blue. I'm going to maybe just go on the red and increase its saturation, like so. Again, create a backup. Actually, not create a backup, but I'm going to merge these because we're going to get rid of it, rid of this layer later on. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the sky overlay and I'm going to adjust it right here. All right, now let's move that upwards a bit, somewhere around there is good. I'm going to flip that horizontally and I'm going to use the blend F blending options. So select to blue and the underlying layer. Now let's get some good viewport and I'm going to drag. Click Alt to fine tune, then we're going to get back to the selections. Right there. Just right there. Alright, now I'm going to create a mask. And then I'm going to mask things away from the car, off the car. So I'm going to select a brush, black brush. I added a mask, put the flow a bit down because I'm clumsy. Okay. 
There are a few things that we need to fix with the car over here, but we'll do it in a bit. But I hope I did not miss a spot. But we'll continue. Now, if I miss this spot, it will be very hard to get back to it in, in, at a later stage. But anyway, you get the idea. All right, so let's delete this layer. We don't need it anymore. And um, I think there are a few things that we need to fix here. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So let's use the pen tool again. Because this is going to be very hard to do it without the guidance of the pen tool. And somewhere around there. Here, there. right about there is fine all right make a selection and uh, okay brush let's bring this back oops make sure you select the mask like so keep basso all right um, I think we went a bit off too much, but that's okay. We can fix that later on. Well, let's just fix it now. Let's switch the uh, brush to white and um, with a flow of maybe about 20s in the 20s. And then I'm just going to brush things back on the top. So it blends in better. Just too sharp right now. Okay, that's better. All right, so um, let's create a, if we like it, we're going to create a visible stamp layer. And um, gonna merge everything together. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of these highlights on the, all the edges. Now these are fine because we're going to have the flare coming down that way. These are good. That's fine. Ah, uh, we missed one over here. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, let's let's delete that again. Good. Now let's create a visible mask or visible, sound visible layer. And uh, what we were doing, yes, we were trying to get of these edges, right? So I'm going to select the stamp tool, clone stamp tool, and I'm um, going to sample from one area, and I'm just going to zoom in, just to see things clearly, and uh, kind of go and get rid of these edges like so don't worry if again you can use the pen tool to fine-tune this I just want to do things quickly if you see it from far away that's fine but like I said if this is some work you're gonna give to client then you need to spend some time on it All right, I think we're done with that. I'm not going to do <laughs> that perfectly right now because uh, you guys should do that on your own. All right, so um, let's start with dodging and burning the car. So I'm gonna create a new layer, select all, and then M, and right click, then fill. 
50% gray. I've covered dodging and burning in every single video that I have, almost every single video that I have. Now I'm going to put links in the comment section below to all the relevant tutorials, so don't miss out. Have a look. And uh, let's change that blending to overlay, then grab a brush, grab, that went slow. All right, grab a brush. Let's, um, I'm not going to dodge and burn a lot here. Well, just a little. So I'm going to change that to somewhere about 3% is fine. And we are on a white. Let's, let's start with the whites, with the highlights. So I'm going to actually just target the tires or the wheels right now. And, um, try to make that contrast come to life so things like here between it's gonna look so cool so lovely here and it makes a difference you might not notice it, notice it right now but if you go to the before and after, it just, you know, changes that. Where did it go? All right, enough uh, with the dodging and burning, really just don't want to do a lot I think we're good uh, leave a link to the dodge and burn tutorial in the comment section below so have a look at that um, all right I think um, <clears throat> I'm just going to merge all layers so um, it's just for the sake of minimizing the file size right now because my fan is actually on fire all right so I'm going to create a new layer then stamp clone tool and I'm just going to clone these out that's a bit make sure you select the current and below it's not very clean yeah I like that too on doing stuff. Are we gonna clean it out in a bit? Oops. Okay, that's better. Do we need to? fix anything else in terms of cloning no okay so I'm going to merge that I should have just done it on the layer it's not big of a task let's merge these get the patch tool and back to it I'm just going to fix a few things Just so it blends. Okay, it's better. It's enough. All right. So next, what we're going to do is I'm going to add the flare. So if you're wondering where I got these from, I'm going to leave a link to it in the code section below. I think this is going to be a lot of links there. It's very helpful and nifty sort of set of overlays. I think you should get them. I really think you should. Alright, we're going to transform this. And we're going to add it to the left. Enter. And we're going to change the uh, blending mode to screen. Or the screen. Yeah, yeah, it was screen. Let's try self-light. No. 
Let's just give you all screen. And I'm going to add just to fix a few things. I'm just going to add a level layer, adjustment layer. I'm going to lock it to the um, overlay layer, and I'm just going to move it a bit, move the slider a bit to the right, just to give it that contrast. And now I am going to use another overlay and I'm going to drop it here. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Like so. I'm going to change the block Let's experiment with this. If I did this with a hard light, it looks good. That looks good. Just going to decrease its opacity a bit. 80% is fine. Okay, we're good. Now, let's add a bit of contrast. I'm just going to use the normal contrast that we usually use in Photoshop. And I'm going to create an S curve. Let's have a look at the before and after change the blending mode to luminosity so it doesn't affect the colors a lot. Let's get back to it. And um, the thing about there is really just fine. You can add more later on if you wanted to. Alright, I'm going to um, group these all together. Alright, now I'm going to sharpen the photo. This is one of the sharpening technique. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the comment section below. Have a look at it. What we're going to basically do is change this to vivid light and it looks so creepy. Invert that and it looks even worse. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and um, I'm going to use Service Blur. The idea here is to use a radius and then double the amount in the threshold. So if you're using 20, it's 40. If you're using 30, it's 60, and so on and forth. I'm going to click OK. It's going to take a lot of time, so I'll speed up this process. All right, so uh, as you can hear, the fan is going crazy. Now, what we want to do is change this vivid light to overlay, but we can't, and that's why we created one new layer, additional layer. And what I'm going to do is right click and merge these two, and then set the blending mode to overlay. Ta da! Now, let's see the before and after. Before, after, before, and after, that's good, but we're not going to apply it entirely on the car. So we're going to do this selectively by adding a mask and invert that layer or mask and then grab a brush and uh, I'm going to increase on the flow and then make sure you're painting in with white. And the areas we're going to sharpen is the rims and the wheels, are the rims and the wheels to be politically English, right? And um, few places like the backlights go away. The emblem or the logo, some of the edges here, yeah, there. Great. Apologies for the noise. People in the house. Okay, now what we are going to do. Ah, we forgot to sharpen the ground. So I'm going to sharpen the ground as well. Or the road or the street, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to enable that layer back. 
now that I look at it, the contrast is a bit too much. Style it down. And I think it's time to take it to Lightroom. Now I realize that I... <laughs> okay. So um, in my act original photo, I, um, I had the lights on. And I'm not having it on here. So let me show you how it's done. I'm just going to create a new layer. And I'm going to select a red. Just going to show you this once and then you can apply it later on. Like so. Make selection and I'm going to paint in that red. Then change the blending mode. No, I can't remember. I think it was soft light. Let's go back. Yep. Yeah. Soft light it is. And you can apply it across the other lights. It's very easy and straightforward, so I'm not going to cover it. Now let's go back to Lightroom. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to darken the ground a bit. Let's reset this. And let's darken it. Add a bit of clarity. And sharpen. Sorry. No saturation. Sharpen. Just a tad. That's okay. Now we're going to add an overall clarity. This is another way of adding tonal contrast. Don't add too much. You'll burn the photo. Just add a little. Add a bit of vibrance. Sorry about the noise. I got the wife in the house. Not too cool. Alright, so um going to add this in the shadow. Let's see. Just a bit of blues in the shadows. You wanna experiment with the highlights? And we're done, amigos. Make sure you check out all the links in the comment section below because I cover most of what we've covered today in depth. I have seven different videos on showing the automotive post-processing from Lightroom to Photoshop, but back again to Lightroom, plus a lot of other materials. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you in the later videos, amigos.